click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome to finite element methods. So let us solve a new technique. It is not a new technique, already you know Galerkin method, but we have solved the Galerkin method using the strong form, using the direct differential equation. We have never weakened the differential equation. So let us see how to solve a differential equation using the Galerkin weak form. So let us take our standard example. Let, let us take a bar problem. And this is the bar problem. We are having the load of alpha x here. And the span of the bar is capital L. Now the governing equation for this bar is given as Ea d square u by dx square plus alpha x is equal to 0. So now what are the boundary conditions? U of 0 is equal to 0. So let u treat be the trial function. Then according to Galakian method, this is what we were doing until now. Integral 0 to L, weight multiplied by residue into dx is equal to 0. So this is the residue. The weight, we will get it as dou u tilde by dou ai. This is the weight until now. So now the residue is given as r is equal to, just substitute this trial function in the governing equation that will give us the residue. That is ea d square u tilde by dx square plus alpha times x. There is no 0 here. It won't be 0. It will be having some value. That is why it is called residue. So now substitute this residue here in the integral form. So that is weight multiplied by the residue. That is Ea d square u tilde by dx square plus alpha x over the range 0 to L into dx is equal to 0. So if you observe here, we are having two terms here. This is the first term and this is the second term. So if you take the first term, that is integral 0 to L weight multiplied by Ea d square u tilde by dx square plus integral 0 to L weight multiplied by alpha x dx is equal to 0. So now if you see here, this is the very important part. So here we are having a second order differentiation, right? That is, if we assume any u, any trial function, if we assume, so that must have at least this second order. We must be able to differentiate up to the second order. That is, if we assume, as we have seen in the uh, previous example, uh, the relatives method, if you assume a constant trial function, the part of this, the contribution of this second derivative won't come in our solution. So it is waste. Even if we assume the linear one, this d square u tilde by dx square will vanish. That is why at least we need a second order, a quadratic trial function. But what if we do biparts of this term? We know all integration biparts, right? So by doing the integration biparts of this term, see what we can do. This is nothing but Ea, just rearranging the terms, Ea, if you assume it as a constant, that is Ea integral 0 to L, weight multiplied by d square u tilde by dx square into dx, plus integral 0 to L, weight alpha x into dx is equal to 0. Now for this, if you apply the integration by parts, it will be w into the integral of this, that is w into du tilde by dx, in the limits 0 to L minus integral 0 to L, du tilde by dx into dw by dx. That is, if you observe here carefully, the requirement of the u to satisfy this second order has been weakened in this expression. What happened? Here, instead of d square, we are having du tilde by dx. That is, if we assume some linear function also, here we can get something else. We, we, we can get something. Instead of 0, we can get something. So that is why this is called the weak form. And the other derivative has been transferred to the weight function. So it is like transferring the derivatives from one term to another term. That is what this integration by parts does. If you do by parts of this expression, one derivative of u has been transformed to, has been transferred to w. So that is what happened here, du tilde by dx into dw by dx. So we have learned these things in the previous classes already for the beam problem, if you remember. But again, for the bar problem, now we are going to solve, we are going to explicitly use this weak form to solve our problem. So now if you observe this, it is, the first term is w du tilde by dx over 0 to L. If you substitute the limits, it will be w of L du tilde by dx of L minus w of 0 du tilde by dx of 0 minus integral du tilde by dx into dw by dx into dx plus alpha into integral 0 to L wx dx is equal to 0. So here I have mentioned, here the requirement of u tilde 
are reduced by one order that is what is called weak form so now since the requirement of utility is reduced here this form is called the weak form here the weight functions will satisfy the this is an assumption again let us assume the weight functions will satisfy the homogeneous boundary conditions at the specified displacements so what i meant by this at x is equal to 0 i have a specified displacement u is equal to 0 so that is why i am taking the weight function is also 0 at that position wherever we have specified displacement conditions they take the weight functions as 0 that is w of 0 is equal to 0 now on the right hand side we are having force as 0 isn't it that is why at x is equal to l ea du by dx at x is equal to l that is also 0 now using these conditions if you see here we are having first term and second term where in the second term we are having w of 0 in the first term we are having ea du delta by dx at x is equal to l that is this is like force at x is equal to l this is like displacement at x is equal to 0 this is like the left hand side boundary condition this is the right hand side boundary condition just substitute them so on the left hand side we are having it is 0 w of 0 is 0 on the right hand side also it is 0 so that is why these two terms will vanish the remaining term is minus ea integral 0 to l du delta by dx into dw by dx into dx plus alpha into integral 0 to l w x dx is equal to 0 so writing the remaining terms separately so this is the remaining term after substituting the boundary conditions so now let us assume a linear trial function so let us say u tilde is equal to a1 plus a2x so in the galactic method we assume the weight function is same as the trial function that is w is same as u tilde so w is also linear but with different constants let us say alpha 1 and alpha 2 w is equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2x so we are having our trial function we are having our weight function so whatever the function we assume that must satisfy the essential boundary conditions that is u tilde of 0 is equal to 0 that is if we substitute 0 here then we will get a1 as 0 similarly if we substitute the weight also w of 0 is equal to 0 we will get alpha 1 as 0 so the remaining parts are u tilde and w as u tilde is equal to a2x and w is equal to alpha 2x now we are having du tilde by dx and dw by dx terms so that is why I differentiate these two expressions du tilde by dx is a2 and dw by dx is alpha 2 so now substitute that one here it is minus ea integral 0 to l this is du tilde by dx is a2 this is a2 this is alpha 2 so a2 alpha 2 into dx plus alpha into integral 0 to l this is w into x into dx is equal to 0 so it will be like so what is w w is nothing but alpha 2 into x so this is alpha 2 into x into x this is alpha 2 x square into dx is equal to 0 so now integrating these terms so what is the first term it is ea a2 is constant alpha 2 is constant right so we can drag them outside so it is ea alpha 2 a2 into this x 0 to l it will be into l multiplied by l so ea a2 alpha 2 into l plus what is the second term it is alpha into alpha 2 is constant alpha alpha 2 into x cube by 3 nothing but l cube by 3 alpha alpha 2 into l cube by 3 equal to 0 so now if you take alpha 2 as common alpha 2 into minus ea alpha minus ea a2 into l plus alpha into l cube by 3 equal to 0 so if you see this expression alpha 2 cannot be 0 if alpha 2 is 0 weight function is 0 that means your entire solution is 0 so we are having some trivial solution so that is why alpha 2 cannot be 0 but this term can be 0 so from this we can get a2 as alpha l square by 3a this is a2 so the solution is u is equal to alpha l square by 3a into x so at x is equal to l we are having alpha l cube by 3a so this is our final solution which is same as the exact solution also so we can solve the same problem using Galerkin strong form and Galerkin weak form and both forms are completely equivalent so you can tackle the problem using the strong form directly or using the weak form but the advantage of using the weak form is you need not to go for higher order of trial functions you can keep the trial functions in the lower order so that your computations will be easy 
so that is why weak form is more famous your computations will be more much more easy if you handle your terms if you handle your differential equations in the weak format instead of strong format you can do galak in strong form you can do galak in weak form both are completely equivalent thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ikeda subscribe to ikeda